Welcome to Finland! <laughs> Race week, Monday morning. How are you, my darling sweetheart? Lovely, I'm so excited for the swim, I can't wait. It's possibly Amy's last swim in here. Let's go. Where, where do you know me from? Uh, Noel's TikTok. <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> 4.8k done. Pretty big race week swim. All right, Tuesday morning, we're at the swimming pool. Got a cheeky little set this morning. Uh, 450s, 200 threshold, 100 threshold, 100 easy, times three. A little bit of a race prep session. It's only just over three k, so it's going to feel very weird, as most of my swims in the last six weeks have been minimum four k. So should whiz by. Not feeling a hundred percent, if I'm honest. My HRV fell off a cliff yesterday, and yeah, a bit of a headache. But is it just taper week slash not tapering yet vibes, <laughs> or have I managed to get sick? Who knows. Busy day ahead, got a haircut, got to collect my race wheels, got to pack my bike, got a brick session to do, day of work, <laughs> and yeah, let's get it all done. Right, we're in transition. We've got four minutes, three minutes, two minutes at 340 per kilometre pace, which We'll call it top end, but probably definitely above 70.3 pace. Let's give it a crack, doing all the treadmill. Focus on the quality. Unveiling the van. If you want anything on vintage, my <laughs> wardrobe's just hanging behind me. You can find me. Triathlon Ross on vintage. <laughs> Right, travel day, Wednesday morning. Why are you running? You might ask. We had the slight logistical challenge of getting two bikes and two humans to the train station. I knew she'd be at the coffee man. Just rounding it up to 2K. <laughs> Don't forget your ketones at the airport, guys. I think that's your. Yeah, and this one's mine. <laughs> the bags are here. Alpine. Absolute shithole we've moved into here. 
Remember to put the sink back together. How you doing, Dad? It's all good, it's all good. Sorry. It's the Cornish Dolphin. Either way, you've got to go past a big poo. Watch the shit. I'm going to let you go. I'm always flipping over. <laughs> it's actually warm, which is good. Oh, is it? No, you've got a better one. <laughs> he didn't get his one. Come down the steps. Oh, he's off. He's off. There. I did think something is out there because it's like, oh. know, maybe it's weed, but it, yeah, looks, just it looked like something upstairs yeah. that, where it's a shallow. She did play it shallow. But look, we've got Let's a, try, a let, fair saying that. We we'll practice water polo. It's just out there. Yeah. Or we could just walk. I'm going to try not to touch First out of the water. <laughs> Standard. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Oh, there's Lucy Charles. Wash the poo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you rip my sleeves off? It's the first time I've been in Chidney. It's the first time I've been in Chidney. Oh. Oh, that's where the pool is, then, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Hiya. Cut his head off there, mate. That's good, huh? <laughs> The relay team. This is the flat part. It is hillier than I thought. <laughs> right, it's Thursday. Did a bit of a swim this morning from the Airbnb, which was nice. Quite shallow in places, which was quite funny. Once we got out, played deep enough to splash about a bit and meant no logistical travel to pools and the swim start. Just done. Little run loop, pretty much the whole run course. Did 9k, missed the last k that basically just goes around this lake, which is on this gravelly stuff. It's definitely uh, a good run course. It's um, mixed terrain, pavements, tarmac, asphalt, gravel, and it's definitely not flat, um, which is brilliant. Um, there is a bit of a climb, and what goes up must come down. So it does go down quite nicely, although where it descends on the second lap, you'll be about 10 miles in. So you know, if you're risking cramping or your little quads are a bit bashed, uh, yeah, as fun as run downhill is, it could be, could be interesting. Anyway, get some food and then I'm gonna go out on a bike ride. I'm probably gonna try, well, I'm gonna try and do the whole bike course, but we shall see how I feel. It's feeding time at the zoo. It's actually crazy. We've been sat out for like. I'm also hungry. Yeah, same. Right. <laughs> Anyone with an iPad? No, I need mine. So we have a bite course update. I'm 50 minutes in, 27K. Uh, I think the first couple of K I wasn't quite on the course, uh, getting through town. So about 25K in on the course. This is a beauty. Uh, the roads are pretty good. 
it's um uh not potholy or anything like that it is quite stony in places uh so there might be a few punches out there let's fingers crossed not me but um it just rolling that it's 22k that section no turns dead straight rolling just done a right turn oh look at that look at that timing <laughs> beautiful Got about 25 k ish back to Lati. here's some triathletes look oh, yeah. there were loads on the first part of the course not so many on the back half it is three o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday though so I expect most got it done this morning if they were doing it so I'm on the only official climb of the course it's basically a K at five percent and not quite in the back gear I'm in the 26 25 but Super smooth tarmac, and uh, yeah, almost there. Hey, uh, I think that's it. So, two, I think officially the com is two and a half minutes, so it's about three minutes effort at race pace maybe a bit more but there we go all right let's get home some food all right ride done uh what a beautiful course uh the last 10 miles is like the purest asphalt uh leading into that hill and then there is a little kicker into transition which would be interesting because you go up you immediately descend do a right under and then bang you're there so if you take your shoes off before the climb, can you get up it? And are you brave enough to take your shoes off down the climb? I don't know, a decision we'll have to let race break get hold of. Uh, we might have a swanky B&B, or at least location wise, but this is the cost of it. This is a gravel road, that's tarmac. And the Airbnb is about a mile that way. So I am now in my socks and I've got a little walk. 